Thing. And at 15 minutes after the hour, let's check back in with Crystal for a closer look at our current conditions on this gorgeous Thanksgiving. Ah, uh, I hope everybody has had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Let's see how this holiday stacks up to the weather that was recorded on all of our past holidays this year. 74 degrees is where we maxed out on this just splendid sunny day. Looks like it's kind of reminiscent to Valentine's Day, where we also found ourselves in the 70s. So let's see what the next holiday has in store. I'm talking about Black Friday, who's ready to get their shopping on. Here's the bargain we're going to get with our weather tomorrow. Doorbusters at sunrise, 54 degrees. So yes, you're grabbing that jacket as you're heading out the door early, but you're ditching it later on as we're bouncing up above average once again with a pair of lucky sevens. What a deal. It will be a cloudy affair, but those clouds Plain old clouds, no harm, no foul. You don't need that umbrella. Is it Black Friday tomorrow or is it Birdie Friday? A little bird told me that there's some golfing going on tomorrow. Tea time temps tomorrow look phenomenal. This one's for you, Uncle Kenny. We're starting you out in the 50s here. It is going to be cloudy for much of the day. Temperatures cracking into the 60s by 10 o'clock. And then we'll tip the scales into the 70s by 1 o'clock. Another above average day for us. 71 degrees is our typical temperature this time of year. So we're going to smack an extra six on top of that. How does that sound? We've got some more 70s down towards the south. We'll be going after the low 60s in Sedona and Kingman. And that high starts with a five tomorrow in Flagstaff. Oh, I'm so excited. Rachel and I were just talking about this. I'm going to this game and I can hardly wait. So the Territorial Cup this Saturday, your hour by hour forecast. I mean, this is so fantastic. Winning weather from us Sun Devils. Forks up 68 degrees for some tailgating at kickoff 74. You just can't beat it. Winds will be light and variable with a mixture of sun and clouds. It's opening weekend at Sunrise Park Resort as well. We've got temperatures in the 40s for your extended holiday weekend. 14 inches at the base. Same goes for Snow Bowl. 35 degrees for your Black Friday as you're getting ready to hit the fresh pow. We've got more sunshine for you on Sunday. Well, it looks like they're really going to have to do a lot of hard work to put that snow on the slopes because this is how much rain and snow you're going to get in the next week. Zip silch zero, nada. And unfortunately, this is not going to help us out with our drought drama. We just got a brand new drought monitor. Here's last week's report, just for a quick recap. And then as we switch it up to the brand new one that dropped today, you noticed that red really sprawled out, didn't it? Well, we also bumped up the numbers in that first tier. 91% of the state caught up in that first level of drought. Moderate stayed the same, but uh-oh, severe went up to 37% and 11% now in extreme drought. It is just dry, dry, dry in this seven day forecast and our above average temperatures do not have an expiration date. We're going to be taking you to the 80s on Saturday and Rachel Sunday is December 1st and meteorological winter as well. I mean, this comes with some serious bragging rights with those highs that start with an eight. I can't believe it's going to be December 1st. Yes, highs starting with an eight. Watch out. Still comfortable, though. Crystal, thanks for tracking the changes right after the break.